A little over three months ago, violence erupted at an intersection in Saco. Police say people in two cars were shooting at each other when one of those cars slammed into a school bus. People who were there caught it all on their cell phones, including images of the man who ran off. Today, it was announced that arrests have been made. New Center Maine's Caroline LaCour is in Saco tonight with more on this. Caroline. Chris, Amanda, a lot of folks here in the Saco community remember the disruption that shooting uh, that shooting had on the downtown area and on Elm Street right behind me. And now we're getting a little bit a little bit more clarity on just what happened following that afternoon. Now the shooting occurred on February 9th. Uh, when a series of events led to a multi vehicle crash involving an old orchard school bus nearby Thornton Academy went into lockdown. Three suspects, a 19 year old Joshua Estrada, 20 year old Jason Johnson Rivera and 22 year old John Carlos Abrante, who fled the scene, are now in custody facing charges for the drive by shooting and for trafficking in cocaine. All three are from Ma are from Massachusetts. In a detailed complaint filed, text conversations show the defendants allegedly tried to control the the flow of illicit drugs to the greater Saco and Biddeford area. This has been an ongoing investigation between the U.S. Attorney for the District of Maine, Darcy McElwee, alongside Saco Police Chief Jack Clements and the FBI Southern Maine Gang Task Force. Our Southern Maine Gang Task Force hit the streets immediately after the shooting, collecting information, intelligence and evidence. Violent drug traffickers have a corrosive effect in our community. Their crimes affect people's peace of mind and quality of life. Know that we are committed to making it safer for the folks who live, work, and visit here. Now, Estrada did appear in federal court in Portland earlier this afternoon. Uh, law enforcement say they are still looking for additional suspects involved in that drive-by shooting from earlier this year. Live in Saco, Caroline LaCour, New Central Maine. Caroline, our thanks to you.